it's hugely exciting to see Baid again on the track one more time. Very excited to see him run again. Like all of us, I'm a racing fan. I just like seeing good horses. And, you know, we've been blessed with this horse in our colours, running for Sheikha Hessa and her family. So it, it's incredibly sad, if that's the right expression, in that it's going to be the last time we see him on a race course. But at the same time, it's a celebration. We've been so lucky to have him for the last two years. And he's such a fantastic asset to us for the stud going forward and, and for her family. It's been an amazing transition in the year that's Sadly, Sheikh Hamdan died, but this horse came along to give his family a real lift. And, and so, you know, I'm hugely excited to get there. I hope he can strut his stuff on the big stage for on Saturday one more time. And, and uh, we're just so blessed to have him. This is my first sale of working with Sheikh Hessa. And, you know, last year, obviously, we, we had a sort of major reduction and, and just um, sort of consolidating the whole business uh, so none of us quite knew what was happening or whether we would be buying and this year Shaga Hissa and her family have sat down and obviously discussed it a bit and so uh, it was absolutely wonderful to have her here at the sales in person and um, you know I used to thoroughly enjoy walking around with Sheikh Hamdan and, and I've really enjoyed walking around with Shaga Hissa and She's had her sister this week, Sheikha Maitho, who's been with her. It's a real fillip for all of us to have them at the sales, to have them so involved. Um, very like Sheikh Hamdan, she, she knows what she likes, what she doesn't like, and she's a great horsewoman herself in her own right. She rides a lot and has strong feelings, and which is fantastic. It, it makes it much more fun to, to deal with that, and I think she's really enjoyed being at the sales. We set out to buy some fillies. Uh, Sheikha Hessa felt it would be good to get some fresh blood in, uh, and try and get fillies that will make obviously decent broodmares if they can run further down the line. So we targeted fillies in book one, we just bought the two fillies with strong pedigrees, um, one from Watership Down from a fantastic family and uh, then a sister to a filly who won the group one at the Prix de l'Opera uh, on Arc weekend. So. Uh, by Kingman, lovely big athletic filly. So those were sort of obvious ones. It's sold at a million fifty. Shout well, sir. Thank you very much indeed. I thought last week's yearlings were as good a quality as I've seen at a sale for a long time. I thought they were it was a very high class bunch. And then this week, we, we did actually buy one sharp little colt, purely because he was closely related to our old friend Mahatha. Um, and then otherwise we, we've just been buying fillies and there's some fabulous young horses coming with their first, first sort of yearlings or two-year-olds. We, we bought uh, a Two Darn Heart, a Massa, uh, a Land Force, um, just three off the top of my head and just trying to f look for things that we thought could win races and, and if they're good enough could, could make up into broodmares.